Greetings, the internet. This is Ninark, and welcome back to my series on making a platformer in Construct 2. Uh, if this is a uh, this is part five of a five billion part series. So if you haven't seen the other videos, just go back onto my channel, watch them, and then come back here, and you'll see we have this cool character. He idles. He moves left and right and runs and stuff. He collects these coins, and he can jump through these things, and the coins add to his score. And uh, but we can't see the score, so that's the problem right now, and that's what we're gonna handle right now. Cool. Alright, so in order to uh, make a HUD we need to understand something called the Layers tab. And now layers are pretty much what they stand, uh, what they sound like, they're layers. Uh, you might have a background layer that you know moves around uh, slowly in the background, or like some clouds, and then you have your main uh, layer where your, all your game stuff happens, and then you'll have a foremost, uh, topmost layer where you have your HUD and your life and your score and everything. So yeah, so what I want to do is take layer 0, which is our main layer right now. It's our own layer, and I'm going to name it main. Uh, that's just so we know that it's the main layer. And we're going to want to add a new layer on top with this plus button over here on the top right. So let's do that. We're going to rename this to HUD for heads up display. All right, so uh, if you select your HUD layer, and let's insert a new object, this text, for example, you'll see that when you play, the text just kind of stays in place. It doesn't do what uh, we want our HUD to do, which is follow us around. Uh, and then there's another problem. The text is really blurry and ugly looking, and we're, so we're going to fix both of those things right now. All right, so let's uh, delete this text. And uh, I'm actually going to delete it from our project file, just so we don't have a bunch of extra objects floating around. Um, now let's create a new subfolder, and we're going to call it HUD. And we're going to right click, insert new object, and instead of adding text, we're going to add sprite font. Now what a sprite font is, if you select it, put it down, it's an image uh, of a bunch of letters and numbers in a row. And uh, basically, you can use this to make your own custom fonts. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, um, you know, if, you wanted, if you're into that. But our problem is uh, that it's the pixels are actually twice as big as our pixels for some reason and that's just something that's inside of uh, the um, default sprite font editor thing so we're gonna actually go down here to the scale and put it at 0 0.5 and that's gonna half the pixel size and it will be the same pixel size as the rest of our game cool alright so let's uh, shorten this up and go down to the properties tab or the properties uh, section right here and go to text text and we're going to change it to score. Oh, that's not how you spell score. Is it? Cool. So now we have a score thing, but it still doesn't follow us around. It's actually way up in this corner, not doing anything important. So uh, the way we fix that is if we go back to our layers tab, click on our HUD, and look in the layer properties, there's a property called parallax. Now I'll explain what parallax is later on in a video. Um, because it's cool and something you should know about, but all you need to know right now is that 0, 0, under parallax means that our score stays in the top left corner of our game no matter where our character moves, which is awesome. But we still don't actually have anything telling us what the score is. So let's uh, put our sprite font in the HUD folder, which I didn't do, and I should have done, and we're gonna call this uh, HUD score text, and then we're gonna clone this and call this one HUD score. All right. Um, now let's drag that onto our game. We're gonna have to half the scale again for some reason. And now uh, we have a nice little uh, text for where our score is gonna be. But there's another problem now. If you go to the text and you just type in score, hoping that it will use our global variable score, uh, you'll see that it actually just is the word score written there. So we're going to fix this in our event sheet. So click over here to your event sheet. We can close those. We're going to uh, add a new group. We're going to call it HUD. And then we're going to add a blank sub event. Now this just means it'll run every time the event sheet gets run. So every tick essentially. There's other reasons why you would use a uh, an empty event, but for right now uh, it's just, it's just a, a quicker way of doing uh, every tick. Okay, well I wasted more time explaining it than I actually saved by not making it every tick. But anyway, so let's add an event. 
and we're going to go to our HUD. We're going to go to HUD score. HUD score text is just the text, remember, so HUD score is the one we want. Double click on that, go down to set text, and this dialog box will come up. And it says text, and then there's two quotation marks. Now, if we write the word score in between these quotation marks and press play, uh, it's still the word score being uh, written up. And that's because these quote, these quote, ah, hmm, excuse me, these quotation marks represent a string. And if you don't know what a string is in code, it's, uh, it's basically a word or uh, something that doesn't interact with your code uh, exactly. I don't know. I'm not very good at explaining what a string is. Hmm. Well, you guys can look it up, I'm sure, and figure it out. Anyway, the only thing you need to know is that we don't want these quotation marks, and we want it to just be our event or a, um, our global variable score. So you'll see if we start typing in score, our global variable little icon comes up right here, and score shows up. Now if we select that, no quotation marks, press done, now it will actually s s uh, be setting our text of our HUD score to our global variable. So you'll see now if we press play, when we get this coin, it gives us a score of one, two, three, four, five, oh, and then, well, okay. We don't have a death animation, so our character just kind of continuously falls to his death. Anyway, back to the action. We select, we get the score, and we get a total of seven, and we win the game, and that's awesome. All right, uh, that's it for today. So if you liked and liked my video and learned a lot, please like and subscribe and share to your friends. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you all later. GG, everyone.